Welcome to New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park's virtual performance series. The mission of the park is to serve the nation as a global leader in the dissemination of New Orleans jazz by enhancing and instilling a public appreciation and understanding of the origins, early history, development, and progression of this uniquely American music art form, jazz. The video begins with River Road African American Museum founder Kathy Hambrick, centered in front of the performance stage, introducing Don Vappi and the Creole Serenaders. For the performance, the band is spaced evenly across the stage with the piano on the far left and the drum set on the far right. Behind the band is a mural depicting legendary musicians from New Orleans history, along with a banner and our American flag. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the following presentation. My name is Kathy Hambrick, and I am the founder of the River Road African American Museum. This concert is being filmed in recognition of one of America's greatest jazz musicians, Joe King Oliver. I'd like to thank Don Vappi and the Creole Jazz Serenaders and the New Orleans Jazz National Historical Park for bringing this series of concerts as a part of the rural roots of jazz. I'd like to say to the boys in the band that I know you too probably have roots upriver in sugarcane country. So please come and see us at the River Road African American Museum or go to our website, www.africanamericanmuseum, and experience the virtual tour to learn more about the musicians from the country who came to the city to create the world's greatest music. Okay, hello again, everyone. I'm Don Vappi. This is the Creole Jazz Serenaders Orchestra, because we increased it a little bit. We have another song for you from King Oliver's later period. Uh, and this was actually his last period because he stopped playing after this with his uh, periodontal disease, I believe it's called, his gum disease. He couldn't play. In fact, it's told, uh, one of the stories I read was that in this session, on some of these songs where he had to play high notes, he would, he'd play them, but he was in tears because it was it's just so painful. Mm. So uh, this song is called Nelson Stomp. And I should say that it was this period, uh, Nelson Stomp, St. James Infirmary, these tunes were arranged by Dave Nelson, who I'm pretty sure was, his, was one, his nephew from Donaldsonville, Louisiana, which is the area where King Oliver was from, and my family as well. So, um, but he was competing with these, you know, the new big bands, Ellington, Elma Snowden had lost a gig, Ellington took the band, right? And um, Fletcher Henderson, you know, it was the, the new sound. And Oliver was there. In fact, I remember working with Benny Waters. And uh, he played with King Oliver back then. And I remember asking him, Mr. Waters, could you please tell me something about King Oliver? I mean, and he says, yeah, Joe was a great guy. Always had his music, which gave me a whole nother respect for him as a band leader, businessman, the whole thing all the different hats I'm having to wear right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this one is called Nelson Stomp, and I'm sure it was uh, Dave Nelson who probably gave it that name. So here we go, Nelson Stomp, one of my favorites, Nelson Stomp.
Radio Pop.